The Jewish Week on JN1. Here at Oxford University, students have voted against the idea to introduce a motion to boycott Israel. But who voted and what was the reason behind their decision? Students from Oxford University Student Union voted 69 to 10 with 15 abstentions, which means that the university will not be recommending that the National Union of Students join the global boycott, disinvestment and sanctions movement against Israel. Elon Eslan Levi, an Oxford University student with whom Member of Parliament George Galloway refused to debate with on the issue of Israel, is happy with the results of the vote. I'm very proud of Oxford that actually from a lot of universities in the UK that have said that they support uh, an academic and trade boycott of Israel, Oxford saying that it doesn't support this motion and stands for intellectual freedom and stands for constructive engagement with Israel. Uh, I think Oxford would have a lot of soul searching that it would need to do if this motion passed and that's quite apart from considering the legality of it. In my college, our junior common room, or our sort of mini student union, had a debate and a vote on this and in our student union within our college. We voted against it by a huge margin of 39 votes to three, saying we didn't want to be affiliated with this movement and we wanted to vote the motion down. This is something that should be patently obvious that students shouldn't want to associate themselves with. Students at universities are meant to prize academic freedom, not academic boycotts. They're meant to prize openness and inclusiveness, not division on campus. The news was also welcomed by Tao Offer, a member of the European Jewish Parliament. I think it's a great day for democracy, for everyone who supports peace, and for everyone who supports the two-state solution. I think it's a massive blow for the BDS attempts to delegitimize Israel uh, in the UK, and I'm very happy with the results. This is not the first time that you know issues like this have been debated um, in UK universities, and I understand that um, Essex University came under fire as well last week. Yes, the, uh, the Israeli deputy ambassador came to give a talk at, at the Essex University and uh, a group of protesters from the BDS movement with some students uh, interrupted his speech and he had to leave the university, unfortunately. I was informed yesterday by, uh, by the vice president of the uh, student uh, union uh, of Essex University that they started an investigation, uh, which is uh, a step in the right direction. Uh, because we don't want to see speakers from any, any country or from any, any background being prevented from talking at universities. So it was wrong and we are going to fight it to make sure that it's not recur again. Tony Bernstein, Executive Director of Technion UK, believes that academic collaboration is key. We're delighted that the Oxford Union rejected the boycott motion. And in the field of science in which I work, and the field of scientific cooperation, which really extends across all nations and, and on all barriers and depending on whichever religion you are, whichever country you come from. Scientists working together can produce so much. Here's an example, a camera in a pill developed in Israel, developed by scientists from many different countries which you swallow and it saves the need for an invasive endoscopy in a hospital. It's the most wonderful invention and why would anybody want to boycott that sort of cooperative development, that sort of cooperative research? So the Jewish community are happy with the results of the vote and believe that it shows that Oxford University does wish to cooperate with Israeli academics. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in Oxford.